Hello, this is Paul Erlinson. I'm the director of product support at Link Studio Technology. We're here at, uh, at NAM, at 2014 NAM. And uh, the new product we're showing is Thunderbolt connectivity for our Aurora and Hilo converters. Uh, this is a brand new product, shipping now. Um, it's very, very exciting. Uh, this is the first time that there's a single cable connectivity method like USB and FireWire were, yet offering the type of performance you would expect out of like a PCI Express card. Very low latency, very high bandwidth, high channel count. Uh, there's a number of, of advantages to Thunderbolt. The most obvious thing is if you're getting a new Mac, you're going to have Thunderbolt connectivity on it, and you're not going to have a card slot, you're not going to have FireWire. So really, USB and Thunderbolt are the only two players, and Thunderbolt has some distinct advantages over something like USB. Um, first off, the bandwidth. So Thunderbolt offers 10 gigabits per connection. So what that means is that with the Thunderbolt chipset we used in the design of the LTTB, we can take advantage of uh, daisy chaining of devices. So we can have up to six Aurora's daisy chain in a single Thunderbolt connection. So here you see we have six Aurora's, we're playing through logic. These Aurora's are in 32 channel mode each. So that means that we have a total of 192 channels of audio, all of it going through a single cable connection into the Mac Pro. So it's just an outrageous amount of I.O. Um, and that's at any sample rate. So we could do all of those channels at 192 kilohertz at low latency. So the one big advantage of Thunderbolt is a lot of bandwidth, you can connect a lot of devices, and they don't have to all be audio devices. You can have uh, an audio interface, a hard drive, a monitor, all on the Thunderbolt daisy chain, and the performance of none of them is compromised. Thunderbolt has electronics in the cable, so it really helps with the transmission of data in a secure fashion. So a lot of channels, a lot of bandwidth, that's one benefit. That doesn't benefit everybody. If you only need 1632 channels, then the question is, well, what does it do for me? Um, the other benefit of Thunderbolt is it's very, very fast. So it's capable of very low latencies. Now, there's different ways products can be designed for Thunderbolt. Uh, you can adapt a FireWire product. You can adapt a USB product to it. But Thunderbolt essentially was based upon PCI Express technology. So at Link, since we had a very well-regarded PCI Express audio card, the AS16E, our Thunderbolt implementation is based on our PCIe card. So that's the sort of uh, latency performance that we get out of our product. It's got a lot of the same firmware and the same driver support as the AS16E. So for instance, with USB or FireWire, you're doing pretty well at four milliseconds of latency. With Thunderbolt to start, you can get closer to one or two milliseconds of latency with plugins and so forth. I mean, that's there is so much power to the format that uh, it can handle a lot without breathing heavily, basically. So in addition to the low latency performance, the other thing about the Thunderbolt card is that since it's an adaptation of our AS16E, there's very, very robust and generous mixing capabilities as well. It has a 64 by 32 channel mixer. You can route any number of inputs per device to any pair of outputs or multiple outputs. Uh, it's very easy to set up, it's very generous. So in addition to really low latency for software monitoring, you also have the best hardware monitoring of any product we've ever made. The, uh, the new Lynx mixer has a design interface. Uh, it's entirely output driven. So when you select an output, you can choose the input devices and the playback streams that route to that output. You can do very complex routing or, of course, very simple things, whatever your needs are. When it's set up as you wish, you can save a scene. Uh, when you have multiple Auroras, like now we're showing the, uh, the six in the rack, there are tabs for each one. So you can just kind of scroll through each Aurora in the system and control all the parameters for it. So, you know, when you have a lot of channels, it's very, very manageable. But for a smaller setup as well, it just provides a very good alternative to software monitoring. Even with low latency, if you have a project with a lot of plugins and so forth, uh, sometimes you're going to have to increase the buffer size to accommodate them. So having a hardware monitoring option is very, very attractive. And so that is the best monitoring we offer on any product we have in addition to the low latency we're starting with. It's not just Macintosh. There are Thunderbolt options for PCs as well. Uh, we're showing at the other table here a HP laptop that is Thunderbolt. There's some other boards by Asus and some other companies that support it as well. 
And the performance on Windows is fantastic as well. So uh, we found them to be rough equivalents. The ASIO support within Windows versus Core Audio within Mac OS X. Um, so the product is shipping now. It's fast, it's a lot of channels, it's very reliable, and uh, it's very simple to set up. So there's a number of benefits to Thunderbolt, and we're very excited about its future in our line.